Hey Kerry, this wasn't actually meant to be a film as such. I was in the middle of preparing some panels to uh, go out painting with at some point in the future. I had tons of them, but I fancied to have some that were just pure smooth. So what I've done is I have got some MDF panels that are cut and these are cut by a company and they're all exactly the same so I don't have to put human error by my own bad cutting into this and all I simply do is use a general um, gesso this is an acrylic gesso and normally I would do three coats of this I would literally paint three coats random brush marks like this sometimes a smaller brush sometimes this big brush this is just a very cheap uh, lang nickel brush that you can buy in sets of three very very inexpensively but i just simply normally go over like this make a whole raft of different marks like this and get rid of any lumps that if they appear if you can as you see them and that's all i would normally do and there's nothing wrong with that i've been using my paint on my boards in this way for many many years and I would then put this into a rack like this and let it dry now what I've been doing and this is where I sort of come to it is I this is rather too long for this position but I just have been wanting to make smoother painting panels so what I'm doing is I'm just using a sponge roller this is a radiator um, decorators piece and all I'm doing is just putting a amount of this on now and then just rolling it around until it's fairly smooth all the brush marks have disappeared now you're going to get pimples all over this but if you come over this and either sand in between dry coats or if you want to put all the coats on first and then put a sand on just lightly sand after you finish then that will be fine too but that's all I'm doing is I'm just putting one coat on and then I'm just going to quite simply get on to the next one I've got two sizes I've got 11 by 14 and I have got some 9 by 12 I've also got plenty of other dimensions under this bench and in other places too I have over the years, to be fair, sort of chopped and changed the, the panel sizes that I enjoy for a long time. And I still have probably about 30 or 40, even more, 10 by 8. And that was my sort of small panel of choice. But I used to paint in 9 by 12s and I'm sort of going back to it now. Quite like the uh, proportions. But in fairness, I also like painting square. I also like the idea of doing 10 by 10s and 8 by 8s, things like that. But you can't just keep going from one size to another. You really got to try, if you can, to pick a size or two sizes that you can happily work with. You can then uh, make or buy a proprietary brand of panel holder that fits those sizes. And then it all becomes a little bit cheaper because you're just not having to buy a new box to carry a new size. So do that. And then at the same time, once you've painted these, you can buy a series of frames just for those two sizes. And if for some reason you want to swap the painting out, you haven't got to go and buy a brand new size of board just to accommodate it. If you work in generic sizes like I normally do and say so I've sort of given the wrong impression that I I do work in generic sizes but I have over the many many years I've been painting plein air uh, I have chopped and changed at different times as a whim or a feeling or a um, I don't know whatever you want to call it sort of takes hold and I just go in and start painting on a different size, 8 by 10s as I say, 12 by 16s, uh, and also longer letterbox types such as 4 by 12 and um, some 8 by 8 by 16, something like that, sort of 2 into 1s, 
they really are quite nice, but they can be quite uh, hard to sell because they don't fit everybody's space. And at the same time, they can be awkward to frame and certainly awkward to store and carry. So something a little more of a generic size, nine by 12, the Americans really do favor that size a lot. And also 11 by 14. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, a whole series of these now, getting ready for some plein air adventures with Clarabelle. And I just wanted to have uh, fewer of the really heavy paint balls that I've carried in the past. Let me just show you a couple that are still around. I've got loads of them. And you can see here where you've got quite a, uh, a random mark. Now these are 10 by 12s. And again, I'm sort of probably, I still have these and I have carriers for them. So I may still use this type as well until they've gone. And then I'll probably just stay with a few sizes. And then next month, I'll probably change my mind all over again. Now, what I'm putting them in is a pine plate holder. I had several of these many years ago. You can buy them on a well-known auction uh, site uh, or off of one of the um, Amazon type places. And they are simply a pine rack, a plate rack, sorry, a pine plate rack. They cost two or three pounds, four pounds, maybe a little more now. And these will just stack up. So you can put a whole 10 out in one of these, 10 panels, paint them up, and then put another one on top and paint them up. So you don't have to lay them all flat. You don't have to use vast areas. You can just simply put that lot on there like that and then carry on building. I shall move this lot to a place where I can keep building up the height here and sort of four stories high. That's good, that's 40 panels and they can dry and then you can go back in, give a light sand and then carry on um, painting a second coat and advisedly a third coat too. And that will then, a final sand down should give you quite a smooth surface, especially if you don't use your fingers with the sandpaper, use a very fine grit on a sanding block and that will just keep everything even. You don't dig into the surface and I think you'll be fine. So as I say, a proprietary uh, gesso, this is Pebio. I've got about four other brands from Windsor & Newton to Liquitex to other companies' brands of this, just whatever's cheapest on the market at the time because this stuff really isn't that cheap. A cheap brush to put it on with and a sponge roller just to carry on with and then just get painting. Anyway, enough of that. Hope you've got something from this little video and I uh, hope it helps. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye.